Hey, we're live. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Hello, YouTube. Uh, we are at European Auto Group, and uh, you can see the 599. There is my 59. It actually does exist. <laughs> I, I swear it exists. So Art will be joining us here in a minute. I don't know where he went. He just like ran he off somewhere. Front. It's pretty typical Art stuff. He just pew, disappears. So Art just said that. I don't know what that means. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, oh. Oh, Mousetrap's already in on it. Thank Hello, you. Hello, Lady Megan. She's not. <laughs> Where's Megan? Am I Megan? I'm not Megan. I mean, you might be mistaken for a lady. With the, a beard lady? Yeah, the beard and mustache. Anyway, so uh, we've been wrenching on that uh, a lot. And uh, it's been uh, making progress. So it's been. There's actually been work done to it, though. Believe yes. it or not, yes. we are making headway. We are uh, actually getting somewhere, so that's good. And um, I mean, I think there's a real chance it'll be done. I don't know if it'll be done tomorrow. Not with that attitude, it won't be. It won't. I mean, I just just being real. This dude's so negative. No, I'm just being real. Like you know, you're negative. I'm not negative. You're negative. I'm not negative. Uh, what up? Plumma Man 13. Plumma Man. Yep, yeah, Plumma Man 13. <laughs> so, yes, we've been working on it, uh, making progress on it. Nerds. Hello, Travis. The <laughs> lights were off. Honest mistake, Adam. <laughs> what lights were off? Oh, saying I look like a like yeah. Meg. You yeah. should apologize to Meg more. You should apologize to me for Good that. Good point. Good point. What's yeah. up? Hello, everyone. Hello, as always, uh, Thursday night, yes, drinking beer, doing work on cars. Adam liked the fry drive more than he would like to admit. I'm not going to admit to that. Tonight on NGS, Dan's <laughs> negative. Adam is a bearded lady, and three guys play at the fry drive night. <laughs> that's Accurate. actually a pretty good synopsis yeah, of what's going to go on it. tonight. It's not that I'm being negative. I'm just trying to be real. Like The reality is there's still a pretty decent amount of work, but, I mean, could it be finished tomorrow? Yeah, it could. <laughs> but I think it's, I mean, let's be like just looking at how this week has gone. Every time you like make a step forward, there's something else that gets in the way. So, you know, like it's like this is basically like the prototype car for yeah 599 conversions. So, like, it's a lot of learning on the fly and like, oh crap, that part doesn't really work. Yeah, we're gonna make one from scratch. Uh, am I gonna sell it? Yes, it is uh, the plan is to get it done, hopefully tomorrow, but more likely like over the weekend or early next week. And then um, take it on the tour of Colorado, yeah. let some people drive it and then sell it. Oh, how much does modifying Ferraris, Lambos change resale prices? I'm thinking more Wide body kits, etc. Saw a killer four eight from three years ago for one fifty five. Uh, I mean, body kits and stuff. I don't think really add a whole lot of value. Certainly, like not a one to one. Like if the kit costs twenty grand, you're not going to get a twenty grand increase in value. You no, know, even if it's a good looking kit. Yeah. <laughs> so I would say it's like this has the Vorsteiner VX kit or whatever it is for the five to nine. I bet that kit's. Eighteen thousand dollars plus you got to paint it. Oh, this is an aftermarket kit. Yeah. Well, it totally looks different than those. Well, but I thought it was different trim. No. no. I don't know y'all's damn Ferrari stuff. No. Hello. Oh, what's up, ben. ben? What's going on? Oh, hold on. Let's see. Just got done right on mine. I have to admit, thank you for the channel. <laughs> Makes it kind of a simple push for DIY. I forgot how much I enjoy working on cars, even if it is an Audi. Yeah. There's something nice about just. Grabbing a beer, fixing some parts in the car, not having to worry about a bunch of crap. You just wrench, bust your knuckles, <laughs> swear a lot, and then you're happy. Uh, and this here? The 509 is an older <coughs> version of the California? No. They are not the even same. Remotely close to the I same? don't even think they're the same chassis or anything. Um, I don't think so. No, I don't. No, they're definitely not. Uh, Stramman is looking at Ferraris and a Scud is one and he wants to maybe swap it if he buys it. Reach out to him. We we know him. 
Yeah. We talked to him about that. So, yes. Oh, is there other conversions happening on 509s at EAG right now? E, um, One, two, three, four, five, 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 five yeah. in this room. I guess we'll show you that in yeah. a second. I can oh. Oh. get ready if you are motion sick. I'll try to do it smoothly. Hang on. Well, there's one right here. So there's this 599 right here. Mm -hmm. And then you can see all of the other cars over there. That one in the corner is a 599, and there's a 430. The black one, the silver one, is actually signed by Kimi Raikkonen and Michael Schumacher and a couple of other people. And then there's a red one right there, a 430. And then Callie, Callie right there. So, yeah, quite a lot going on here right now. Adam is not wearing a company uniform. He needs an NGS shirt. I have, a, I have one. It's just I didn't put it on today. Sorry. My Let's bad. See. Hi, guys. Gee, am I the only woman who is fry obsessed? Hopefully not. Seems like dude only in the chat. I mean, you're, unfortunately, my demographic. your inbox, though. Yeah. My, <laughs> like, inbox so to be fair, no, you aren't. There are women we know that are really into fries, but like. No, you know, like my demographics on my videos are 96% dudes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soft so, mess up in here. Yeah, Let's be real. It's, I mean, <laughs> sorry. It's just, uh, yeah. But we appreciate that you're here. And uh, yeah, there are some really awesome women that we know that are into Ferraris. Um, Thanks, Wonder Egg. Huh? Glad uh, you enjoy them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, someone from Kyle. Well, we're going to be passing through Kyle on the way home tonight. Where do you see that? Oh, there's Art. Oh, that's my old co-worker. Hi, Julius. Oh, you know him. Yeah. yeah okay. We, the 599 we, is nowhere even close to California. 599 was built way before the California. Correct. Art just got here. Yay. Yay, Art. Whose chips are these? Yours, so yours now. From lunch yesterday. Yeah, feel free. Grab a seat. You can scoot over. LS1 swap a 360. Hell no. Well, LS1 swap Oh, yeah. Well, we can grab some beers. Yeah, there you go. Hey, it's art. Can it be done? LS swap. I mean, sure. You can LS sure. swap anything. Yeah, you sure. can put an LS in like, almost anything. But <laughs> uh, Dress code equals marketing space, Adam. I agree. And I have a lot of marketing space to go around on this. Yeah, yeah. What up, Art? That's uh, from Ben. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh, yeah, you do need a beer. Don't you? Oh, you yeah, got some cans too. You got the little wee little beers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys should go to that gun shop on Saturday with Demo Ranch and all the other YouTubers and buy a gun. What? Yeah, gun uh, shop. I've never heard of this. I mean, I know Demo Ranch. They're cool. I like them. They're close by. Hmm. Never heard of them. Oh, he's got like three, four, five million subs or something like that. It's a big channel. Hmm. Does he just blow shit up? Pretty much. Well, that's kind of like how it like got started, and now it's just like, I don't know. He's bought this like abandoned mansion in the middle of nowhere, Texas, and nice. I, know, I actually ten million subs. Really? Yeah, yeah. He's he's big. What's this called? What's it called? Demo Ranch. I've never heard. I of met this. his father. So uh, here's a here's a fun story. You guys will like that's actually really the cars. There is a car show in Bernie, Texas, every year. It's called like. Uh, Italian car festival or something like that. And uh, we go every year, basically. And I think it was two years ago, uh, we're sitting there, and this guy pulls up, and he's got an old Alpha, and it's for sale. And I start chatting with him because I'm like, that's a cool car. Turns out it was uh, Demo Ranch, that dude's father. And he also has a YouTube channel, and his channel's got like over a million subs. Jeez. And so, like, I didn't even know it, and I had never even heard of it before or any of that stuff. And anyway, I was chatting with him for a while, and then I found out, how I, oh, my son is watching. Hey, Ash. Hi, Ash. Don't puke on mom. <laughs> Pee owner. Pee owner. Oh, dude. We were, yeah, anyway, I won't talk about that stuff on the live. I'm sure you guys don't want me to talk about poop and pee because that's it's a substantial part of my life right now is uh, dealing with poop and pee. So tell tell me what you did in the five nine nine today. Okay, so um, oh, congrats! James hit ten thousand oh. followers today. Congrats, dude! I be congratulations first and foremost. Yeah, but I would congratulate you again if you signed up for the Colorado trip. Too late. We closed it. 
but he didn't. Oh, thanks. Cool. Hello, Lady Megan. You look wonderful as always. Thank you. Um, <laughs> now he can get that compliment. And yes. It doesn't come off as weird. Let's see. So what did we do today? Today, we were debugging, basically, today um, for the first part of the day. We've been debugging for three days, two, three days. There's a, a weird issue that we think we have resolved on a chattering noise, but we think we figured it out. So uh, then today, what did we do? We so, put the collectors in, and then we took the collectors back out. <laughs> we took the collectors <laughs> in, we put the collectors <laughs> out. And then we put the bell house, or we took the bell housing out. Oh, yeah, we put the bell housing in. <laughs> Actually, we should be laughing about that car. Because that car, we pulled the trans and stuff like what three times in the yeah. last three days. Or pros, yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's the good news. Like, shoot, you want a five or nine trans out? We're your guys. We can get it out, no problem. So um, yeah, so we got that done. The hole in the bottom, the shifter uh, housing on the interior is kind of in place. In place, um, Art's assembling the actual shifting mechanism. We, um, what else did we do today? Oh, we started running the hydraulic line yep. for the clutch. So that's in there. Uh, we actually had to get one made because like it was the wrong size. And so that's always fun. Um, Thankfully we were able to get it on the same day though. Yes, yes. Um, so yeah, there was a, a decent Six amount of work. Nine viewers. So like tomorrow nice. we'll put in the Thank shift you, mechanism. We still got to put in the clutch pedal. We still got to put in the master cylinder. We still got to run the hydraulic lines. We're building the shift box right now. Building the shift box. Internal, external. Yep. Got to attach the uh, external shift box. Is the clutch pedal in the car yet? No. Mm -hmm. No. So um, put in the exhaust, put in the trans, put in the torque tube, all that stuff. And then and the test, test drive, drive it. Good two days. Yeah, I think it's gonna be at least two days. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and then oh, and we still have the ECUs have to go back in. So, huh. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah. Uh, Monday yes. we won't be able to work on it, or at least Dan and I won't be able to. Yeah, we sure can't. Won't be here on Monday. Team won't be able to. Tuesday I can't either. I have to go back to the dentist. Gotta keep them teeth clean, man. For shame. <sighs> so anyway. Um, Adam Porsche review Meg. She can't drive stick. Otherwise, yeah. I would let her review the car. I guess she could insult the exterior of my car. <laughs> I like this one. Sounds like you're ninety percent done, so you only have ninety percent to go. <laughs> Spot on. It's always about right. Oh, it's totally eighty twenty rule, right? Like so, eighty percent of the earth yeah. Wouldn't it be twenty percent? Twenty percent of the job takes eighty percent of the time. Yeah, the last twenty percent. Yep. Yeah. So. It's yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna sell or not gonna sell the Ford and keep that. No way. <laughs> as much as I like that car, I really love the V8 mid-engine cars. I just prefer them, I like the way they drive better. But it's gonna be fun. I mean, I mean that's why part of why we wanted for for Colorado. I mean, driving a thousand miles, banging gears in a V12 Ferrari. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Well, if it doesn't make it, you can always keep it for another year. No. <laughs> As Megan just said, I long to be a one Ferrari household. Uh, but you know, Meg, that once we sell this one, you will probably own another one at some point. I'm sure. Are you going to convert your Ford Vate? No. no. Salvage car. Maybe do a salvage car first. Yeah, because you're going to have to really mess them up. Like, especially the first one, because it's all going to be custom made stuff. Computers are going to have to be like standalone. It's just. No, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I don't. I don't want to deal with that, and it's gonna be expensive because you have to buy a transmission. So it's gonna go from a seven-speed to a six-speed, most likely. Do a Lambo next? Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about stuff. There's a certain Lambo there. That's there may or may not be a Lambo in the works. Maybe, yeah. maybe not. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> I can't believe that Meg would be okay with you owning a Lamborghini and a Ferrari, but not a second. <laughs> Yeah, bless you. Oh, not Jesus. Ferrari. Covid. <laughs> are there four, five, eight standard? No, they no, were all. They were all dual clutch. Because they are um, dual double clutch. clutch. Yeah, yeah. Dual all clutch. dual clutch cars. So the only Ferrari that came in dual clutch and manual is California. California's dual clutch. Yeah. yeah. 
That was the first dual clutch Ferrari. And they made three in manual. Three worldwide. Three. And one was wrecked. And one of them got totaled. Where at? In the States? Italy. No, in Italy, yeah. yeah. And then we... They have the transmission. Got the transmission <laughs> from the, from the <laughs> scrapyard because they didn't know what they had. So they yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty really awesome. That's awesome. The best part is like we can't even identify the transmission. It's not. It's we don't know if it's a one-off or what. Like it's yeah. crazy. Oh, like the manufacturer of the transmission? Uh, we're pretty sure it's. Uh, uh, it's the maybe, transmission maybe here or over there. It's the transmission that you almost trip over when you walk in the door. Oh, so no, that, that's the DCT from that car. Oh, that's the DCT. Oh, I was gonna say. You okay. have a one-off transmission, and yep. you're using it as a door stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're using the, the bunk DCT that came out. There you go. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. Uh, Murcielago. Everyone's, like, chanting, Murcielago, Murcielago. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe. That would definitely be cool, though. I mean, Well, I mean, if, if they follow our Instagram page, then they would already know that that's what it is. True. True story. Yeah. Everybody uh, likes your Vin Wiki shirt. He was on Vin Wiki. This is how I get noticed at the airport. Really? Yeah. You've been even recognized at, at the yeah, airport? Even at gas stations. Really? Oh, yeah. Ah. It's always the green Vin Wiki shirt, no other shirt. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know you were on the Vin Wiki. Yep. Yeah, not yet. Oh, here we go. Well, I know Ed. But. Hey, Dan, are you planning to do another Texas driving tour? My Lotus won't make it to Colorado. Um, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, the current Colorado tour didn't fill up. We only have six out of the nine slots. So I'm praying I'm just going to break even. Yeah. So I'm probably not going to do any more drives, at least for the time being. Um, maybe if the channel gets big enough and we get enough subscribers to get a big enough audience to actually fill up a, a roster. But um, I can't take on those sorts of financial burdens. Like I had a front over $25,000 for that. And now, I might not get it all back, or if I do, it's going to be like just razor thin. So no, that's way too much work. So sorry, guys. If there's other people doing organized drives and stuff, I might go. Last year we had eleven. Yeah, it was awesome. Yes. Bad, uh, Dear Meg, it is easier to land stick on Am's Porsche. It is not a Ferrari DNA car. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, Am, do you own any car car hard stock? I should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh yay! Damn, the Dang. judge here. Cheers, wow. Dan Adam. Get a real beer. I like That's what beer. I've been uh, saying. Ah, oh, jeez. You're the only person who likes Miller Lite. I, I'm not. No, you're not the only person who drinks Miller Lite. You're the only person who likes Miller Lite. There's a difference. See, Miller Lite sponsor me. Come on. <laughs> I don't think they're watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for some reason. Somehow they just left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Dan, since he said you will pick V8 or V12, would you pick a 430 Scud manual over a 458 converted manual? I mean, I don't know. That's like, here's the problem. I would probably choose the 430 Scud as a manual over a 458 as a manual because the 430 can be converted reasonably effectively like these guys you know convert that stud and it's totally fine like it's it's exactly how you want it to be as a manual so the 430s came as a manual and they already have a six speed and it's the same transmission and blah 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 so like technically four of eights aren't conversions they're swaps which conversions i mean not swaps it's <laughs> swap i guess would be like if you're he took yeah, transmission A out, out put B and put another. I guess so. Right. It's a swap and a conversion. I guess. Because it's not the same transmission, and I don't like that. You're swapping the F1 components. Yeah. But well, you're converting. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of the idea of... Like, here's the thing. I think the 458 is the way it should be. I think the 430 Scud should have come as a manual. That's the difference, right? Like, I feel like that should have. But... Whatever. Anyway, that's just me. Friends don't like friends. Drink Miller Lite as you like drink your Corona. Corona is way better than Miller Lite. Are they out of stock on the big bottles? Is that why I've, we've been getting these? It was ones just the ones that the were there that I grabbed. Days? I don't know. It's that janky 
Sitco yeah. one that I went oh, yeah. to. I don't you there you get what you get. <laughs> I don't think I can shoot that into that. <laughs> Just go there. Uh, whatever happens to the woman who hit back into your fourth fate? Uh, absolutely nothing, because there was no damage. So, no reason. Uh, last year was amazing, and memories for a lifetime were made. I had an amazing time on the trip, met some amazing people, and the trip who are lifetime friends. Exactly. That's I've been saying that. Like I met some lifetime friends, and then I'm and some really cool dudes, and then I met a really annoying guy, kind of dark skinned a little bit, Indian. You know? oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Joe? How's the car? Just kidding, Ben. You're my favorite. Miami Heat Joe here. Miami Heat Joe. Uh, Sonny No, apparently. Yeah, yeah cool. Manual uh, 430. Oh, he's nice. got an exhaust rattle, though. Oh. He, he texted me. I think the flanges broke on the back. The oh, welds. Well, yeah, that happens. I mean, 430. Just get rid of them. They're superficial. Get rid of them. <laughs> 430 exhausts are terrible. They pretty much, like, the entire exhaust needs to just go. <laughs> There's, like, not a single component. On the fourth exhaust that actually survives like more than twenty thousand miles, it's a it's terrible. Anyway, uh, if anyone is on the fence about car out, please register right away. It's literally the best time. You'll meet amazing people. Yeah, we already closed registration. We closed registration. I mean, I mean, if someone was like begging us, we probably could find a way. But oh, we would find a way. I'd have there's to, a, I'd have, a way. I have to make like eight phone calls or nine phone calls or I'd, I'd help. Art is the man. Car is running perfect. Can't wait. to do a five nine nine and thank March. you. Yeah. Oh damn! Nice. nice. Another one. Completely what's the, oh, what's the next exhaust for the four eight? Good question. Oh yeah, we haven't thought about because what yeah. we only did like a what a, a month ago. Or yeah, whatever. I've only driven like a hundred miles with the new so exhaust. We so we want to get some actual miles on it. Um, that's a good question. Uh, I'm torn. I don't know. At some point, not next, but at some point, I want to try the exhaust exhaust tech. Exhaust Tech, Exhaust Tech, whatever. Japanese company. The equal length header? Yeah, yeah, they have equal length headers. The problem is, like, to do it, you have to, like, buy the whole system. So it's, like, $15,000. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to try that. Um, anyway, completely off topic, but I found your channel while researching Portofinos. Any thoughts on the vehicle for the first time for I buy it, lifetime Mercedes customer? Any thoughts on the vehicle, meaning, like, a that Portofino? Particular one? They're great. I, th I like the Portofino. I think it looks much better than California. They're good cars. They ride nice. They're comfortable. So, yeah, and they're reliable. No problems with them. Yeah, it's a good first Ferrari. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Uh, I mean, I'll sign up if you bring that Mo dog along. If all it took was to bring Mo along, I'm pretty sure we could make that. I don't happen. think I want Mo in my Ferrari. No, for in a the thousand truck. Bucks. Yeah, that would still. Mode. He would be at each hotel every night. Yeah, they'd totally love that. <laughs> Just like go to some super nice hotels. And be like, here's my dog. We really need to figure out what's going on with your video res. Some days it's great, like today, and then well, other days it's like blame my internet provider. What can I do? I only have two internet providers, and this is the better one. But uh, yeah, I'm I actually surprised. I know because <laughs> our internet was so slow earlier today. <laughs> Uh, I plan to do a manual conversion in my 2012 California. Want to make a kit? Um, good luck on that. I mean, <laughs> that's what that car is you right do there. What? So he's planning to do a manual conversion on his 2012 California. I mean, the plans to man. I hope oh, you know yeah. what you're getting into. <laughs> well, the transmissions don't exist. That's the problem. And we only have one. <laughs> Unless we want to spend like half a million dollars and. R and D making yeah. a transmission, or like make new mounts and stuff for it. And... Mm. Actually, the trans is the hard part. Yeah, that would be a pain in the ass. Ugh, no thanks. <laughs> if um, someone has Graziano connections, though, they can maybe talk about white labeling some <laughs> transmissions for it. There we go. <laughs> like this idea. Yeah. So we still got. Oh, we're supposed to mention. Um, the programming stuff, right? Or you want that in the video? We'll do that in the video. Okay, we'll do it in the video. Is that what that text was about? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm waiting for those crazy prices to come down to four eight. Well, you're gonna probably be waiting a while. <laughs> Hate and, to tell you. And I don't know that the four five eight will ever come down to where it was before. No. We. If you haven't seen the video from Sunday, you can go check that video out. That's what we talked about. Yes. What about Tremec? 
I don't think they make one that would fit. Adapter plates, bell housings, stuff like that. No, I don't think it would work. Yeah. Crappy engine. LS1 the California. Everybody wants to LS1 everything. LS, LS all the things. Adam, your wife might as well bring the M3 in a Colorado trip. Yeah. No. She she could. She could, yeah. You'd have to drive it all the way up there. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Why not? Because I, I just don't think that she would want to be all alone in it. Yeah. Hey, can I come and bring the M5? I'll be like the tool car. Well, he's the tool that, truck. Yeah, um, that's what the truck and trailer's for. It's for the Jag that's coming, because we'll need it for the Jag. I mean, if you <laughs> want to pay for like, all your fire, you can come. <laughs> no, we're going to, uh, I think we're going to North Carolina the first week of October to do Kent's 430 oh, yeah. in his garage. That's right. Remember that. I don't know if Kent's watching. You watching, Kent? <laughs> Let's see. Nope. Uh, any more progress on the 355? Uh, nope. nope. I got a jack screw underneath it so that everybody didn't yell at me. So the car is nice and safe now. <laughs> Come and swap Meg's <laughs> mini. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> like, I've got 1,000 foot pounds of torque in a 2,000 pound car. That'd be awesome. Uh, uh, <laughs> you place the engine with Oh, burn! Mousetrap, warning, Adam, please stay a minimum of 60 inches from camera, 4K, 40-inch here, high-res. He's just, he's digging my mustache. Jeez, man. That is a burn. Let's see, fellas, say hi to my brother, Vinod. Oh, he's been watching your channel longer than me. Oh, wow. Hello. Hello. Have you I, already, met him? I already like you better than I like Ben. I've oh. never met him. Jeez. That's <laughs> what kind of friend you are. <laughs> By the way, Ben, did you see the video today? It was about the boat. Yeah. That's right. Were you one of the 900 people who actually watched it? <laughs> What's that? What Ferrari is the best value at this time under 100K? The 360. Probably. I think if you buy a 360 now and manual convert it, I think you won't lose money on it. You may actually make 15 or 20 grand. Potentially, We've yeah. seen a couple customers. Actually, one recently that sold on Bring a Trailer. One of our customers made 20 grand. Ooh, the car sold. It was a 2002 or 2003 360. It sold for 130,000, which was five Lord. to seven thousand dollars higher converted than the six OEM gated 360s right before that. It's crazy. Jeez, the whole market is just nuts. The problem is now under 100k. I used to say 430s, but it's uh, almost impossible to find 40 grand. Yeah, thirty to forty grand. They're almost now. all. I don't think I've seen a under one hundred k four thirty in a while now. Like yeah, a couple months. So, man, that's the thing. Like I don't know that they're gonna. <laughs> Sorry, just saw Dan steal tar tar crunch while you're there. Screw you. I got three of them. <laughs> Joe asked about the five nine. Actually, got got, it should be done like maybe Tuesday next week, Monday or Tuesday, um, and. Uh, it will not go on sale right away. It will go to the car trip and then probably go on sale. We yep. got some cool stuff planned for it. Uh, hopefully that will happen. Yes. So. Yes. Oh, when will the, yeah, you're, you just said hopefully. Well, the 509 will definitely be done, I'd say early next week. Oh, here we go. What would you get after the 458, if anything? Because I probably wouldn't sell. I, I don't, I, honestly, like, I will own more Ferraris, but I will not sell the 458. Like, I want more project cars, but I don't view the 458 as a project car. I view that as, like, that's my car. That's my dream car. That's the car I always wanted. I don't want to sell it. I, I mean, people would have to throw stupid amounts of money to me that make absolutely no sense for me to actually sell that car. <laughs> so I have no intentions to sell it. I think my, like, my true opinion of that car is... That is like peak Ferrari. I think that is the best Ferrari that's ever been made, and I don't think they're ever gonna make a better Ferrari. So, that would be a question for Art. Is it true that if you're on the 360 2004 is better than the earlier model 360? Or maybe I don't know. Would you know? No, I think I think they're all the same. Um, I know a lot of the uh, spiders actually experience engine. Uh, computer failure on the right hand side because where the uh, ECU is actually located the headers heat up the uh, That ECU and it's actually 
the way they're built, they're like uh, they have these like spider webs inside the ECU. Mm -hmm. uh, so when they heat up, they basically desolder themselves. Oh, Ooh, and wow. it's absolutely impossible to find 360 ECUs right now. Um, wow. And it's almost impossible to, to fix them. Like you just get yeah, one company to, in Florida that supposedly is doing. They're it. not. They're not fixing them though. They're oh. what they're doing is they're. If you send your old ECU, they'll extract the information. They'll just copy it to another oh, ECU. That makes sense. Hmm. Oh, I got a porn fun money to buy your four of eighteen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I I just saw. Yes, my wife was like, "Please throw stupid amounts of money at me." I'm sure she, would, <laughs> she would appreciate that. Uh, geez, you guys suck. <laughs> Appreciate all the comments about the dam and trying to murder my mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, that was totally the plan. You guys got me. Oops, you fell overboard. Yeah. Oh, damn, it wasn't <laughs> deep enough. <laughs> I bent my prop. Uh, you could bake an ECU. It sometimes fixes it. Mm. That sounds scary. I know people used to do that with like the old Xboxes when they would get those red rings of death. It's because the heat sink would. Uh, desolder itself from the chip. Really? And so they would put it in the oven, crank it up, and it would like melt it back into place. <laughs> Man. Man, when to be young and dumb as a kid. It's like the Nintendo <laughs> yeah. cartridge. If it worked for an Xbox, why not a Ferrari? As Walter White says, name one thing that is not negotiable. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. Everything has a price, pretty much. And the 4 of 8 has a price and it would not be anything like the problem is i would not sell it for what it's actually worth like no one could come to me and be like hey i'll give you you know x dollars for it and it's a reasonable offer but i'd be like no i like because at least double oh yeah if you gave me double what the car is worth today i would sell it sure you want to throw four hundred thousand dollars at that car i will sell it <laughs> which is stupid like <laughs> i would feel horrible and i'd be like you're an idiot <laughs> I knew it, the damn truth. <laughs> it's like when you go on, uh, I've never been, but I've been told when you go to the Hoover Dam, they're like, okay, now we're going to start the damn tour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go down the damn stairs, stuff like that. Yes. That would be me. <laughs> What's the solution on fixing the shrunk leather on a 360 dash? Depends. Replace. You probably got to get it replaced. It depends. If it's only shrunk a little, sometimes they can restretch it, but usually it shrinks and then tears. So then you're screwed. Uh, let's see. Greetings from Florida. Hello. Hello. Hello, Trinidad. Sorry about Nicki Minaj. I don't know what that's about, but I heard something about Nicki Minaj today on the news. I don't know exactly what stuff. happened, but we got to start the damn, damn tour. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> damn it. We're going to start the damn, damn tour. <laughs> yes. Oh man. So it's been, yeah, it's been, oh, it's been, how are you in Munchkin? Oh, yeah. she's, yeah, she'll talk about that. The solution is to buy my spare 360 dash that is in my shop. You actually can't have another dash for it. You kept the dash, Judge? <laughs> what the hell? Why would you, okay. I didn't, you actually pulled the dash and like bought a new one? All right, we're not going there, folks. So you can just... Uh, nah, just... Yeah, whatever. Stop that. Yes. Uh, hey, Adam, at that one time I heard that Porsche Guard GT could be had for 250000 Maybe. <laughs> A while ago, but I doubt it now. Ooh, you got a question? Where, Adam? Yeah. What's your next port Porsche purchase or nine nine two GT three? Is my dream Porsche? I, I take that. Yeah, I it. I don't think that they're. That's the only car I would trade in the current nine eleven four. I don't think that the step from the nine nine six to the nine nine seven is big enough to justify it because I I really love the the Porsche we have. Uh, but you mean you wouldn't take a 997 GT3? Yeah, no, I would, but I'm not going to buy just a regular 997 Turbo to oh, replace the 996. Okay. I got you. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, so I would. No, yeah, I love that car. I want to get rid of it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Forget rolling the fenders. Do a Liberty Walk. No, no. I What's hate a Liberty Walk? It's a stupid <laughs> wide body kit. Anybody else? No, I'm, I'm good. good. Thank you. Uh, I've never heard that term it's, before. It's a brand of fender kits that make it wide body and mm. they look terrible. The, here's my problem. Here's my problem with the Liberty Walk kit. 
I don't like when they do wide body kits and it has like rivets showing and like yeah like no like if you're gonna do a wide body do a proper wide body where it like flows nicely and looks it's like you've got this beautiful car and then you got like rivets sticking out it's like what are you a teenager let me google this real quick it's terrible it. it just looks stupid i i hate them i just whatever that's just me i mean i know people love them and they're like woo, woo liberty walk but that's not me i would never yeah. Anyway, what in the why? Why would you do that? <laughs> see, it's terrible. It is terrible. Like the, you can see, like the exposed like bolts and like the it's just that because you could. I mean, like think about it. you could take that kit. Here's you know what. Here's the problem is I bet you when Liberty Walk first came out the kit, you were supposed to like use. Oh, that's terrible. It's supposed to use like. <laughs> filler and like actually repaint the car and have it look like it meant to be that way. But you know, anyway. D -E -D -D rivet that. life, <laughs> rivet life. Uh, oh God. Ugh. Stop it. It's just horrible. It's, it's terrible. I'm going to ban whoever suggested that. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to ban you. <laughs> well, I should. <laughs> that was terrible. If you watch V's Rebuilding, it's about a couple Larry Ruby walk kits and they fit terribly and were super expensive. They are. They're really expensive. Oh, I mean, here's the problem is most aftermarket body kits don't fit really well. It takes like so a lot of shaving. Yeah, it and takes stuff. like a lot like a skilled person doing a lot of work to make them look really, really good. So yeah. I believe Novatech makes a seamless kit. Uh when it's like yeah, they, they have a wide body kit too, I think, if I remember hmm. right. So, uh, anyway, Liberty Walk for the lazy millennials. <laughs> it reminds me of a certain other channel that takes rear bumpers off of cars and drives it around like that. I don't understand that either. <laughs> like, it's one thing, like when you're testing stuff, but like when you're done yeah. testing. Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Strad's Adventure Liberty Walk kit was like thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. Exactly. They're mm -hmm. not cheap. Strad may buy a 430 Scud in the next two weeks and wants to convert it. Would you be interested in reaching out if he does? We already talked he's, to him. He's got our digits. Yeah, they, we've already talked to him. Well, I shouldn't say we. Uh, Art has. So. I know what? Strad. Oh, yeah. In the uh, 430 Scud if he's going to do a conversion or whatever. I mean, here's the reality. I don't even know if he's going to do it. I mean, we'll see if he pulls the trigger. If, if he buys the 430 Scud and he's going to do a conversion, he's going to talk to us because we're the only <laughs> game <Yeah>. in town. <laughs> <He's> got, <laughs> what is he going to go make it himself? Good luck. We'll see you in a year. Trust us. <laughs> yeah. four, four years. Yeah, yeah, actually. It took four years. Four years to get the first, yeah, the 430 stuff. Uh, good no. night, then. Don't oh. let the bed bugs bite. Oh, good night. <laughs> uh, you guys watch Schumacher. I want to see that. I haven't seen it yet. I heard yeah. it's good. Um, Probably watch it this weekend. I think it just came out though. Yeah, I think on Tuesday or something like that. Let's see. Uh, what else? Superman has to pay all his illegal tint tickets first. <laughs> Man, if I only had tint tickets. Oh, yeah. Convince, convince Ed to manually swap the the five nine nine. I don't think he wants to do that car. It's a salvage car. I don't. I don't think he wants to. It's probably not that. worth it. Not Here, that no, one. Here's a question for you, Art. Especially because it's got weird issues. How did you decide to start converting cars? Um, because I'm stupid. <laughs> and I like manual cars and I like doing stupid you like, shit. You like manual cars, so you got one of the most expensive I got, cars I got there a, is actually, to do it on. I got a great question for you. <laughs> oh, God. If you knew four years ago how much shit and how difficult it was going to be to do all of this, would you still have done it? Uh huh. <laughs> ah, so you do yeah. have a brain injury. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I mean, this is great. We've built, what, close to between 360s and 430s, close to 100 cars already. So you, yeah, you know, that is pretty cool. When you, when you think about it, it's pretty amazing. Like, service work sucks. Oh. Oil changes suck. Manual conversions are fun. True, <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. It is, it is pretty. It's a lot of, uh, it took a lot of R&D. And a lot of uh, you, you guys have it fun. down now, like the four thirties and three sixties. I mean, it's like nothing for you guys, especially with we got oh we got kits, they're done. Yeah, 
They're literally on the shelf. Ready like, to go. Oh, yeah. I actually have to get a kit from you and ship it this week. Okay, we'll do that. Crap. Crap. That means <laughs> I need to go do my little thing on my mini lathe. <laughs> Spin things. Oh, man. Yeah, because he, he paid. <laughs> so yeah. he need equipment. <sighs> we got to finish that. Oh, the one going overseas? Yeah. We um, are international businessmen. It's going to Hong Kong. Yep. Art looks like a miner. Oh, because of the headlamp. The headlamp. A coal miner. <laughs> a gear miner. Artist of the Michelangelo Ferraris. I guess. Yeah. Better a miner than a miner. Yes, mm. that's true. And if you knew what you did before. If you <laughs> <laughs> He's asking the real questions. Yeah, there you go. If you knew what you did before you joined in NGS, would yeah, you still do it? I would. <laughs> this is a blast. It's Ask awesome. him again in six months and see whether or not yeah. he's paid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ask me on your calendar on your phone and ask me in six months. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. Art's answer is priceless. For all his gearheads, it's a mental disorder. Yeah. I mean, look. Addiction. Yeah. It's, there is something about doing that stuff. I mean, look, I gave up a lucrative software career to go play around with Ferraris and, <laughs> and sell Ferrari parts for like ridiculously way less money <laughs> yeah like i clearly have a brain injury too <laughs> we all have a brain injury yeah uh moved to austin july welcome had my cat sawed off wait what oh no way you got your cat stolen <laughs> dealership still doesn't have a new one in yet oh did man dan substantially over mary as in did he yeah he went oh, up the yeah. ladder and meg went down the ladder was there ever sure. a question about that yeah like meg, dan's no i'm like, married up he's like high I, school baseball playing in the pro league somehow and meg is slumming it with this guy <laughs> i'm not gonna disagree <laughs> see right. i just had my 430 done by art it drives incredible and anyone out there on the fence think about doing her 430 excuse me should not hesitate art and his crew are top notch thanks joe <laughs> there you go was that one of the cars that you yeah, did yeah yeah ah, sure. that's why you're all excited you're like hell yeah i just got it <laughs> how many miles have you put on it since you got it I'm curious well hundreds some miles back to miami that's for sure oh. it, it, he, he made he it drove obviously it yeah all right that's good <laughs> yes uh let's see what is the next step for ngs where do you see gated six well, they're kind of two separate things. Yeah. So next step for NGS, uh, I mean, we got to sell, we got to add more parts and get more parts in the system. And I want to showcase more parts. And um, actually, funny enough, there's something that kind of overlaps with uh, Gate 6, which is so we're that close to finalizing a big move for Gate 6. Actually, Gate 6, European Auto Group, and all of it. NGS. Um, I don't know if I want to talk about it yet. I'm not going to talk. Are we going to jinx it if we do? Yeah. So I'm not going to talk about it yet. But assuming that happens, that's going to create Should a help. very large uh, opportunity for a normal guy to produce more content. I'll put that yeah. way. That's really cool content. So I'm excited about that. And for us to build more cars quicker, more efficiently. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With equipment. Yes. Finally with equipment. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't want to jinx it. No. no. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. Dan only punted the coverage. He placed it through the uprights in the next town over. <laughs> Thanks. Jeez. <laughs> I'm restoring an old Mercedes, a couple of 80s. Nice. Old Mercedes are cool. I like them. I wanted to know how Adam held all those guns doing the Texas Lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> it's movie magic. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it is. It was. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the holster, man. <laughs> oh, here you go. He said, I've only put about 200 miles on it, which is a lot for me. It's like I have a brand new car now. Yeah, I mean, it's a totally different car. Do you, it's like it's like having the ultimate go-kart. That's what I keep saying. Like, the 430s as a manual are the ultimate go-kart. Yeah. It's just it's awesome. And we have one for sale right now. Oh, yeah. I'm bringing a trailer. Yeah. It's at 165. 165 still, yeah. 165. 160 or 165? 165. Oh, it just went up yesterday. And it oh, because last the I first saw day it was bid to 160. Yeah. 50,000 over Jeez. what factory cars were getting bid to on the first day, which is amazing. Wow. Is that fourth thing on bat the original? No. no, that no. was like car. 
70 or something like that. Yeah, somewhere up there, yeah. It was up there. Yeah. You should try cars and bids. Uh, I mean, yeah. I think it's going to sell on Ring of Trailer. Oh. It's doing pretty well. Yeah. How is it about Gallardo conversions? Oh. Maybe. Where? Stay tuned. Very oh. tough. Thoughts on doing Gallardo? Yeah, we'll probably look into those. And yeah. uh, do you only convert Ferraris or do you convert other brands? I mean, it's 99% Ferraris right yeah. now. Yeah. There's plans for other vehicles. But other other brands models. are certainly on the list. We don't talk about that, Rick. It just takes a lot of R&D and patience. And, and money. money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How is the Garage Queen doing? Uh, okay. I mean, it's admittedly tougher than expected to get. The problem is we have a lot of people wanting to buy cars, but not a lot of people wanting to sell cars. Well, um, and it didn't help. We had some awesome cars lined up that ditched. Yeah, we had some cars moment. lined up and... It fell through. I think if those didn't fell, fall through, it probably would be a completely different story. Yeah. The um, but we're we're we actually had a long discussion today about what we're gonna do about it and how we're gonna I did on the way on the drive down. Oh, here. say I wasn't there. Yeah, I pretty much was on the <laughs> phone the entire drive down here with them. Um, so we're working on it, and uh, yeah, if you want to list your car with us, it's free, and so. We have some ideas of how to grow it, um, but it's it's just the market's crap. Like the market is tough. Not that many cars are, so we have a supply problem for, <laughs> for cars. So anyway, uh, E forty six M three conversions would be huge. Yeah, the problem is is the margin just isn't there for yeah. us. If there's too many other people doing it that have been doing it for a while that are really really good at it. Yeah, that it's just not. <laughs> Not Nar. Oh, who's that? Hi, Troy. How's it going? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you said doing it. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> nice big screen TV. Oh, yeah. Rachel, how come you didn't bring any desserts down here to San Antonio for us tonight? Oh, yeah, we don't get delivery. Jeez. WTF. Oh, Dan's next garage queen marketing ad. He'll wear a dress and a wig. I will wear a dress and a wig on a live stream if one of... If three three of you sell your car on the Garage Queen, I will wear a dress and a wig for an entire live stream. Oh, God. <laughs> the balls are in your court. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be hilarious. <laughs> I'll put makeup on, too. Oh, dude, we've already done that to you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the highest price individual part in the Ferrari kits? Is it the casting for the gear shift housing? Uh, which kit, the 430 or the 509? And the 509 could be the center console. Because it's carbon fiber. Because it's carbon fiber. Uh, and the 430 would be... No, the, the well, it's got multiple pieces, but as a whole component, the outer shift box is the most expensive on the 430 for components. Yeah. Yeah. As, but it's like got like eight or nine pieces oh, in yeah. it. Oh, yeah. But if you combine them all together, it's like one unit, right? Like... You, and they're so intricate, it just yeah. takes forever. It's also machine. unobtainium. It's one of the pieces you just can't get, period. So, mailing conversions aren't that hard if OEM parts are available. I assume that you can't get them for exotics. You can't get them for Ferraris, no. period. And and uh, they're they're hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, come on. There's not just like an Say, easy button. Yeah, it's not like you're like, oh, we're just going to like unplug just this thing and plug this in. We're done. No, it's actually quite a pain in the ass. I mean, there's like cutting holes in cars and, uh, you know, doing all sorts of stuff, reprogramming computers. It's not easy. So, um, and, that, and that, that actually it would be another component of it. Even if you could get the parts, you can't get the programming done. So you're going to have to have a shop that can do that. So, I mean, it's not, yeah, that's what, that's, that's the whole reason why we're not selling them as DIY kits. There's no yeah. person, like we don't feel comfortable with people buying this kit, trying to do this at home for the first time ever. And then they're going to be pissed off because they're going to get stuck. They're going to be calling us to be like, Hey, how do you do this? And we're going to be like, yo, we can't help you because we're busy. Yeah. And so no. this is not a DIY. Kit. This no, is not, it's not an exhaust or suspension. No, it's different. How long have you owned the five to nine? 13 months. Yay. What was originally supposed to be a three month ownership? <laughs> oh, here we go. Most, what? I like this question. My wife, 
what parts were the most difficult to develop prototypes for on the 430 and for the 599? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think the shift box. That one took forever, right? On the 430? <laughs> shift box, external shift box, center console for the 599. I would say the console. That's been a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's all because of the chip shortage. <laughs> What's the current weight for F430 conversion EAG? How long does the conversion take? That's your. Um, so Jared and I have got it down to about a 12 hour process. If we do one and we have everything laid out and a guy that's helping to bring the tools, like when we're calling for tools. <laughs> It's called, but that is worker. that is the optimal scenario, which doesn't happen ever. Four or five weeks, I would say, with all the other cars that we're doing at the same time. Um, and if you really want to get one done, I have no idea because we're starting to book out in the 2023. So you kind of have to call and talk to Andre. 2022. 2023, we're booking out into already. What? Yeah. You have all 2022 yes. booked up? Yeah. We're like doing filler spots right now. Oh my God. So. Call Andre, talk to Andre, get on the schedule because I don't even mess with that stuff anymore. It's so overwhelming. I just want to do things in the shop. Be the human lathe. The human lathe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's insane. I didn't realize you guys got that booked up. That's great, though. Uh, oh, you guys use SolidWorks for CAD? Yeah. And some other stuff. Yeah, SolidWorks Fusion. Fusion yeah. 360. So the 2015 Audi R8 V10 offers a manual. Do you think it's possible to convert a Huracan to an Audi manual? Um, I mean, yes, but it's like with the asterisks. <laughs> <laughs> There's always R&D. Yeah, everything. it's not like a straight plug and play. Right. The transmission from the R8, the V10 R8, bolts up directly to the Huracan. That is, that is correct. The other stuff is more problematic. Right. <laughs> hmm. Just curious if the manual transmission needs an oil cooler? Yes. On the 599s, yes. On the 430s, does it have one? It does. It does. Okay, yeah. Yeah, It's but it's you got to remember, it's the same transmission, whether it's a manual or F1. So you don't change the transmission. So everything it's already got, yeah, anyway. Uh, hey guys, my son works at Mercedes Benz dealership. There's a lot of salesmen there. He took my newly converted 430 to the dealership to get a full detail. He said they could get me 250 for it. Ah, that might be a bit on the so high side. Let's see what our back car sells. For. Yeah, I don't know if you get 250 for it. You might get 250 for an OEM car. Actually, you could easily get 250 for an OEM car if it's got the right miles and whatever. I mean, so if it's converted, I mean we. We probably did it, so we might know the car. Oh, it's Joe. Sorry, I didn't realize. Well, sell sell, sell the car and send us a couple bucks. <laughs> there you go. For beer, like beer money or something. Sorry, I didn't even read that. It was Joe. Okay, I thought there was someone else saying it. Yeah, I, I don't know about $250. we will see. I mean, they're going up. So Let's see what the back car sells for. Yeah. I'm really curious to see that. 165 is pretty solid a day and a half in. Yeah, that's pretty good. Money, Meg is the funniest person ever. Old video of Dan is explaining the expensive owning a Ferrari is like, is like uh, an experience like a vacation. She says, well, I've experienced it and I would like to move on. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for reminding me that my wife has to uh, give me shit. <laughs> Meg is the funniest person. No, we're not going to talk about that. In fact, I'm just going to remove that. Sorry. Yeah, we're not going to discuss that. Sorry, it's just it's just not it's. There's nothing productive that will come out of it. Nope. Yeah, it's an unfortunate situation. We'll just go with that and move on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, in a, you know I'm not trying to be a jerk. I just we don't want to go there. It's just, yeah. Three prop was a disappointing slower. I, you know, I kind of got bummed about that. I think I need to change the pitch. More boat talk. You know, is that videos. what it is? I had no idea what you guys were talking about. Three, three it makes sense now, yeah. The three blade, dude. I'm with you. I'm over the boat. What? You can't say he's over it. 
No. Well, it kind of made it sound like it was. No, they're saying um, we need more boat talk. Jeez. When's the next run with the speedboat? I don't know. You should come down here. We'll take it out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I put some OEM parts on my manual 430. It has 13,000 miles. Uh, I mean, it's still not going to get 250. I mean, uh, it could. You may fool somebody, though, if you don't tell them it was converted. But I, yeah, but I, I, I would mean, not recommend that. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> not so good. Put a manual or put the gate on there with the horse if you can find one. Yeah, yeah. If you can go buy an OEM shift knob and shift gate, then people wouldn't know generally that it was converted. My buddy's son, Owen, is watching. Hi, Owen. <laughs> you probably just made his night. He did. He said he likes the 599. Eh? <laughs> I know one that will be for sale soon. Yeah, Troy, yeah, you can right. buy buy it for him and put it in the garage. <laughs> I'm pushing out in December for an extended period of time. Maybe next June. Jeez, that's a ways out. <laughs> hey, Levent, how you doing, man? <laughs> How's Florida? Yeah, it's. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you were just there, right? <laughs> I'll just send my beer money to Art then. Rainy. It was yeah. very rainy. It always is. It's always raining in Florida. Every day from 3 to 5. Mm -hmm. So we were working on cars, and all of a sudden, it just it, it was like Rain. a hurricane would come through. Yeah. <laughs> you can probably get your old prop repaired, Dan. Yeah, I've, I've, I need to look into that. Uh, I definitely want to. I think it's uh, it's still in good shape. Yeah, I know. You're still active duty. You said duty. <laughs> Joe, I'm running out of beer. That's a true story. Sent Art some beer money. Do you miss your Mystic cover? I didn't have a Mystic. I had a uh, regular old. I had two covers: the '97, which we put a Vortec on it, and then it popped the piston rings. <laughs> Wait, you hit a prop? <laughs> yeah, when he tried to push his mother-in-law off the boat. I damaged the prop <laughs> on my boat. How? It tried to push his mother-in-law off the boat. It went too shallow and it hit a rock. <laughs> huh. Ding ding! It's part of boating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like they, you know, it's an easy fix. What they do is well, they just, weld it, they sand it, and then they rebalance it and they put it back on. I just had well, that done mine. Buy a new prop, whatever. Oh, because you probably have little ones. Mine are like this. Oh yeah. Well, your boat's huge, like this. How yeah. big is your boat? Forty feet. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, where? Da, da, da. <laughs> Do you miss your 430 or is the 458 better? PS, we have a 430. I, the 430 is better. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I don't really miss the 430, but I mean, I have nothing against the 430. They're great cars. I just prefer the 458. That's just me. So, <laughs> me and Mousetrap are going to get this story to pick up steam that you're trying to off your mother in law. You know, so the worst part is at some point she's like, someone's like, get a hold of her and be like, did you know that your son in law was talking about how they were trying to kill you? Oh, oh man. man, that would be awesome. No, it won't. I like my mother in law, she's really cool. Uh, shoot, I thought it was Mystic. No, I'm sorry. The one the mechanic ruined. Oh, that was uh, just great. It was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that sucked. His mother-in-law is taking swim lessons. I mean, she knows how to swim. What's up with the F8? Uh, you know, I haven't talked to Fred. Yeah, and Fred hasn't made... I'm sure Fred will make his appearance any second now since it's, you know, almost 9 o'clock. Yeah, he's got like two minutes, <laughs> so he's going to make an appearance. That's normally what he does. Yes. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's the last thing. I don't know. I haven't talked to Fred since the last live. Yeah, when he was in. Yeah. Hmm. Just don't ask her to hold center place next time you're taking her. <laughs> you guys are terrible. <laughs> what's Art's dream car? Oh, there you go. Art, Art what's your dream car? 458 manual. Uh, <laughs> nice. Game over. <laughs> F8 update. Still F and yellow. Yeah. Oh, PTSD therapy money for Dan's mother in law for the near death damn, damn incident. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I mean, Let's everyone, keep this up, you know, guys. Let's keep it going. Here's the best thing about it is I know you guys have this fantasy in your minds about this situation like of like the boat hitting this thing and like my mother will be like, oh my god, and like me being like, and like 
trying to push her off the boat, and it was like literally super anticlimactic. <laughs> like I was like, "Oh look, it's kind of shallow. I should probably trim up the prop." And then and I'm like, "Damn it!" And she's like, "What happened?" I'm like, "I just hit the prop." So anyway, uh, how nice was the end? So I mean, yes, <laughs> needs a manual. <laughs> that would be. Insane. You have no idea how unkillable my pants are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, we tried to reach her and she's not picking up the phone. Oh, man. You guys, no. <laughs> Would it be a big job to convert a 612 to a manual? Probably. It's kind of similar to the 5 minutes. I was pretty close to this, but not quite. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Aloha from Maui. Hello. Hello. Man, in Ma was it like four o'clock there in Hawaii? Jeez, yeah. Can you guys convert a La Ferrari Arts. into a seven speed manual? <laughs> no. <laughs> Arts. Yes. Arts like challenge accepted. Let me grab a beer. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm here to ask about your car's extended warranty. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, you know why we couldn't convert a La Ferrari to a seven speed? Because, number one, we don't have the insurance to cover a La Ferrari <laughs> sitting in this garage. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. I think that's kind of going to do it, unless you guys have any more questions for Art, which he's grabbing a beer. Uh, let me get a beer. Famous last words. That's right. Yes. There's actually a Reddit sub forum that's like, let me, or what is it? Uh, hold my beer. Yeah. I love that one. It's a good one. There's one that's hold my Cosmo too, where it's women doing dumb stuff. Hey, like number one fan. Man. <laughs> we appreciate that. Thank you. I have a great idea. We should call Steve Wynn. Since, <laughs> since Ferrari like pissed him off and he oh, yeah. kicked them out. We should call him and tell him that we kind of want to piss Ferrari off too. And he should buy an Enzo <laughs> and let us mangle it. Oh. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Dan has an, uh, an eye in her vintage toaster. What? I don't. Why would it? What, you like trying to drop the toaster in the water? And Is that when the get the Win Hotel guy in Vegas win? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They came in and they said they were doing like a corporate meeting. And he said, Mr. Wynn, where is your Enzo? Mm -hmm. Or his LaFerrari, whichever it was. The Enzo, I think it was. Or LaFerrari, whichever. I think it was a LaFerrari. LaFerrari. And he's like, I didn't like the car, so I sold it. And they're like, well, we're going to have to pull your franchise. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. So he goes, get out of my hotel. And take <laughs> all your cars with you. And don't ever come back. <laughs> Epic. Yeah. We, we were actually talking about that, Meg. What? The other day, Dan and I were, I think. Oh, was, yeah. We were actually, okay. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this idea. Uh, we were thinking for upcoming lives that we would actually have phone-in guests. You guys actually phone in. So the way it would work is you would probably have to, like, pre-email us with your phone number saying you would want to be on a call. Yeah. Because obviously I'm not going to have you calling me because uh, that will just get out of hand. So <laughs> we would call you guys. And then, you know, put you on somehow. Thank you, Levent. Yeah. Hey, and Levent. Thank you, Chris. Keep all the good work. Thank you very much. We yes, I did sell this guy. And Claudia, and uh, normalguysupercar.com. You can get our shirts. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, we're, the, what we're trying to figure out is the best way to figure out who gets to call in. Yeah. Um, and we're thinking maybe just like one or two each time. Yeah. And have it be like, a, you know, like some of you guys who are like big fans. And, yeah. Um, you know, tell us about your car experience it doesn't have to be fry like you know i mean we're all gearheads and some you know some people don't have fries but they might have a cool mustang or yeah whatever i, I want to hear about it and like, we're not gonna do it to where you have to donate to be able to call it we no, are we're established it, like, we're not it will be equal opportunity we just have to figure out how yeah, we're opportunity gonna, phone calls yeah, yeah yeah we just have to figure it out it may just be a lottery drawing of people who commented on the videos throughout the week or <laughs> Something. <laughs> 40 years since I moved to Minnesota and I still park my car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I am not a fan. I am a troublemaker. That's kind of true. true. So yes. I have a great way for you to do that, Dan and M, without phone number, screen sharing. Uh, oh, yes. You know. Okay. We're interested. Email me. Oh, yeah. I wonder. 
I mean, there's probably a way you could do it. Like if we did the uh, Zoom call, we could probably have people Zoom in actually. Or I wonder if you That'd be could cool. do it on Discord because then there would be no numbers involved. And we could make like a invite only and they have video chat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that too. I we mean, could, we'll look into that. Well, we could certainly email a Zoom link. That's true. And they could just pop on Zoom. We could, we'll figure it out. But anyway, we've actually been talking about that. Yeah, we were talking about it a little while. We just like, need to hey, figure out the fun. way. I think it'd be fun. Yeah. And you guys would like it. You know, get some, meet some new people and, and some of you guys who are like ultra fans. And, you know, it'd be fun. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I got a question for you guys on a Lambo. Do you guys feel that Lamborghini Yalpas will ever go up in value? That's a good question. I mean, I like them. I just don't know that they're very well loved. People are people are gonna do make it shit do. if you do that. Yeah, right. Uh, your internet can't handle the truth. Probably <laughs> not. No pants party is the best party. <laughs> I wonder if it's mistaking this for slang for something else. I don't know. It could be. <laughs> I actually like the Alphas, but whatever. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty much going to do yep. it. It's uh, already six minutes past the hour. Yep. So we'll let um, you know about the the live chat yes. with us. It's something that will be coming up soon. Oh, uh, another quick thing is for all you guys who are here every Thursday, we yep. probably are not going to do a live two weeks from now because yeah. we'll be on the tour of Colorado. And, and the just, internet will be... In fact, we know where we're staying that night, and the internet there is uh, terrible. Almost non-existent. So we, yeah. we don't have an option. We can't do a live that that, that Thursday, so we'll be doing one next Thursday. Yes, it's the what day will that be? Next Thursday, live. The following Thursday, no live. We will not be live on the thirtieth. We'll be live on the twenty third, but not the thirtieth. Yep, there you go. So, and uh, theoretically, we'll have this on the road in a few days. So. Yeah, obviously, we'll have videos on that. You guys are gonna want to see that. So, uh, thank you for joining us tonight. And yep. Adios. We'll see you soon. Oh, yep. There goes the beer. Over beer. <laughs> Sorry. Empty beers. Yep.